Hi guys, thank you for joining me. I'm a little upset how the government there and certain people who've been blogging from the uh, Canary Islands, La Palma, have been downplaying the threat of these toxic gases being blown across the island. Is the government really that stupid to still say that the air is breathable there and to continue to say everything is okay? Showing people out on the streets and in the bars or outside open areas in the bar. This gas will kill you. There's a YouTube channel. I don't know if they're on an oil platform or what, but they're showing the coast looking out um, to the island and you can see the toxic plume going, being blown across the island. They've told people that have not been evacuated to shelter in place to put tape and wet cloths around their windows. Well, many of us who live in here in the United States know about the Dust Bowl that happened in the 1930s. And wet cloth and tape does not even keep dust out of people's homes. And it will not keep the toxic gases out of their homes or businesses. The only mask that will work um, decently for the toxic gas is the N95 mask. The other types of mask will not work for these gases. Evidently, a two-mile area of the coastline has been evacuated. I don't know how far inland they have been evacuated. Here's an example of the masks that, de that do not work for the toxic gases. Surgical mask, simple health care mask, scooter mask, or cloth mask. They will not work for these gases. Reuters has an image of the lava as it was reaching the ocean. Here's another one. There you can see the cliff as it came down and the toxic gas rising up. Here on Reuters... They're saying that the air is still breathable. Thousands of people have been evacuated since the eruption on the Canary Island 10 days ago. Three coastal villages have been locked down since Monday in anticipation of the lava reaching the sea and potentially liberating um, harmful gases. Residents on the West Coast have been told to seal doors and windows with tape and wet towels. The eruption has not affected air quality, which is perfectly breathable. Um, yeah, are they still saying that? What about pregnant women? What about people with heart problems? What about people with asthma and other type of lung um, problems that they have? Inhalation or contact with acid gases and liquid can irritate the skin, eyes, and respiratory tract. It may cause breathing difficulties, especially in people with pre-existing respiratory disease. Uh, Invocan warned. The island of La Palma lives mainly from cultivation of bananas and tourism. That land is no longer going to be available to grow anything for probably a, almost close to a thousand years. Um, the only reason that Mount St. Helens area has finally started to show some regrowth after 50 years is because it had a pyroclastic flow with smaller pumice that breaks down faster than what's being ejected from the uh, lava cone, the magma there on La Palma. It's going to kill everything there in the ocean. USGS has a page about the dangers of lava entering the ocean going back to the eruption that happened on the island of Hawaii in 2013. Yeah, just like La Palma, the ocean entry is likely to draw thousands of people eager to experience the riveting interaction between hot lava and cold seawater. When lava enters the ocean for sustained periods of time, the island's building activity creates a unique set of hazards that may not be known to people. Well, evidently, the government don't give a rat's you-know-what, ASS. Four main hazards associated with lava flowing into the ocean include the sudden collapse 
of new land and adjacent cliffs into the ocean, explosions triggered by the collapse, and then we got the waves of scalding hot water washing on shore and steam balloons that rains hydrochloric acid and tiny volcanic glass particles downwind from the entry point. All this toxic gas is being pushed inland. This is because inhaling or contact with acid gases and liquids of the plume can irritate eyes, skin, and respiratory tracts. Lava streaming into the ocean cools rapidly and scatters into sand-sized particles and large angular pieces of glassy rock. These fragments accumulate on the steep submarine slope. They build an unstable foundation upon which lava flows can spread above sea level. This new land is called Lava Delta. As lava deltas grow seaward and along the shoreline, they slowly settle or sink as the loose debris shifts under the weight of the overlying lava flows. When underlying debris can no longer support a delta's growing mass or is undercut by deep submarine landslide, the delta collapses into the ocean. Here's another screen capture from the lava flowing out into the ocean. Look how far it's gone. Yeah, and this is the whole area from a previous collapse about a hundred and fifty some thousand years ago and you got the threat of this weight of collapsing into the ocean. La Palma is not a shield volcano. It is a strato volcano, a lava built up by alternate layers of lava and ash. Very unstable. How much of the island is below sea level? 13,123 feet below sea level or 4,000 meters. The highest peak is 7,874 feet above sea level or 2,400 meters. So going back to USGS, when the underlying debris can no longer support the delta's growing mass or is undercut by deep submarine landslides, the delta collapses into the ocean. It could collapse 13,123 feet into the ocean. This is why that island is so dangerous, so deadly. Not just from the gases, but you could have a collapse of this new lava Falling into the ocean. Oh, look, there's a boat out there. Um, yeah, is that a fishing boat being chartered by some scientific community? I don't know. But you notice right here, we have a series of waves coming across. You can see the magma or the lava. It's only called magma when it's still under the uh, water's edge. You can see the plume of toxic ash and gas. Uh, the airport, one day it's open, next day it's closed, and it's open, but no flights are going out. Um, there is between 83,000 and 85,000 people that live on this island. Do I sound angry? Yes, I am angry. All because of greed, because their only income is from bananas and tourism. Scientists cannot predict the timing or size of a delta collapse or the exact direction or distance that rock may be hurled, hurled during the collapse triggering, triggered by, or triggered explosions. Do a Google search as hot lava boils cool seawater. A series of chemical and physical reactions create a mixture of condensed acidic steam, hydrochloric, at, um, get, I'm not mad, yeah acid gas and tiny shards of volcanic glass blown by wind this plume creates a noticeable downward haze known as lays short for lava 
haze. The area of the lava flowing into the ocean is very large. Look at that. I am not fear mongering. I'm telling you the dangers of actual facts. So please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.